a video created by R.S. Madhukeshwara, Assistant Professor of Physics, Government College for Women, Mandya. In order to draw the given plane in a simple cubic unit cell, first, find the intercepts made by the given plane with the crystallographic axes, then choose the origin of the crystallographic axes in the unit cell based on the intercepts values. For example, consider the plane, 1 1 1, the intercepts made by this plane with the crystallographic axes are, x, y, z equals 1, 1, 1. Since all the intercepts are positive, Choose the origin as shown in figure 1. Then mark the intercepts made by the plane with crystallographic axes and join the points to obtain the plane, 1 1 1. It is important to note that the inverse of the Miller indices of the given plane gives the intercepts made by the plane with the crystallographic axes. If the intercept is infinity then the plane will be parallel to that particular axis. For the plane, 1 to 1, the intercepts are, x y z equals 1 half 1. Since all the intercepts are positive choose the origin as shown in figure 1. Then draw the plane such that it intercepts the x and z axes at unit distances from the origin and the y axis at a half unit distance from the origin. For the plane, 1 0 0. The intercepts are, x y z equals 1 infinity infinity. Since all the intercepts are positive choose the origin as shown in figure 1. Then draw the plane such that it intercepts the x axis at unit distance from the origin and stands parallel to y and z axes. For the plane, 0 1 0, the intercepts are, x y z equals infinity 1 infinity. Since all the intercepts are positive choose the origin as shown in figure 1. Then draw the plane such that it intercepts the y axis at unit distance and stands parallel to x and z axes. For the plane, 0 0 1, the intercepts are, x y z equals infinity infinity 1. Since all the intercepts are positive choose the origin as shown in figure 1. Then draw the plane such that it intercepts the z axis at unit distance from the origin and stands parallel to x and y axes. For the plane, 1 1 0, the intercepts are, x y z equals 1 1 infinity. Since all the intercepts are positive choose the origin as shown in figure 1. Then draw the plane such that it intercepts the x and y axes at unit distances from the origin and stands parallel to the z axis. For the plane, 0 1 1, the intercepts are, x y z equals infinity 1 1. Since all the intercepts are positive choose the origin as shown in figure 1. 
then draw the plane such that it intercepts the y and z axes at unit distances from the origin and stands parallel to x axis. For the plane, 1 0 1, the intercepts are, x y z equals 1 infinity 1. Since all the intercepts are positive choose the origin as shown in figure 1. Then draw the plane such that it intercepts the x and z axes at unit distances from the origin and stands parallel to y axis. For the plane, bar 1 0 0, the intercepts are, x y z equals minus 1 infinity infinity. Since the intercept x is negative, to choose the negative x axis, shift the origin O of figure 1 by 1 unit along x axis, as shown in figure 2. Then the plane must be drawn such that it intercepts the negative x axis at unit distance and stands parallel to y and z axes. For the plane, bar 1 1 0, the intercepts are x y z equals minus 1 1 infinity. Since the intercept x is negative, shift the origin O of figure 1 by 1 unit along x axis, as shown in figure 2. Then the plane must be drawn such that it intercepts the y and negative x axes at unit distances from the origin and stands parallel to z axis. For the plane, bar 1 bar 1 0, the intercepts are, x y z equals minus 1 minus 1 infinity. Since the intercepts x and y are negative, shift the origin O of figure 1 by 1 unit along y axis first and then by 1 unit along x axis, as shown in figure 2. Then the plane must be drawn such that it intercepts the negative x and negative y axes at unit distances and stands parallel to z axis.